All right, children, we're back. Firewatch. Last time around, the uh, the women that we had thought had messed our shit up, in fact, were framed and possibly attacked by some psychopath. They were calling 5-0 on us. Well, fuck them. We ain't do it. But there is some crazy motherfucker out there who broke into my tower. Broke into my motherfucking tower. And cut our fucking phone line. I hope we find him. And bust his fucking kneecaps. Let's get in this. We'll probably take some pictures along the way because we got that camera. And I love that goddamn thing. So... We were trying to patch this window up. Because the fucker broke it and smashed her in. We have cleaned up. Thank God that wasn't a mini game. Oh, zoom. I didn't, I didn't even realize I could do that. That's retarded of me. <clears throat> Excuse me, something in my throat. I'm just, it's just the scenery. It's just choking, it's choking me up. It's so beautiful. keep forgetting R is to run and not shift. Alright, now I found some boards. Take that. Get a couple more. Just some random pieces of wood laying around. We can do that. Go fix our window. Because, you know, this is a job and that is our home. It's kind of two in one. But man, this view. I, I I honestly God would like to stay maybe just like a night or two in a place like this. I feel like I should go rent a cabin out in the middle of the woods for a few days. This game makes me want to go out and visit Mother Nature, but I'm obviously gonna bring like the three D S or something. I got <laughs> Tablet. So, what should I do now? What's next? Yeah, what's next? what's next? Delilah. What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next? Holy you sit in that room shit. And call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. I just realized. You're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, the voice of this guy is a dude from Mad Men. I just realized that. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever watched Mad Men, but it's a great show. And this is... The voice of this guy is one of those. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Alright, well, well, let's... I'll put it back. Did I see Busky? Yes, I did. Can I save for later? Yes, I can. Keeping that. Beautiful little picture. Pick that up. The birds of Wyoming. Man, just throw it down. Dice. 20 sided. What do we land on? Come on, come on, don't fall! Shit. It, that's not exactly how 20 sided dice rolls, because that's basically rolling like a ball. But okay. Can we get in the cup? No. No, stop. Oh, seriously, I'll just play some Dungeons and Dragons. Old wood stove. What? Clortox? Clortox bleach? Get out of here. It's actually kind of sad. <clears throat> it doesn't terribly look too far from the guy who voices it, too. Oh, no. We can't just throw that on the ground. We'll throw that right there. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> hey, Turt Reynolds. How you doing, little buddy? Hey. Hey, little buddy. You're my buddy. I, am I adopting him again? Okay. I just... Double adopted Turt Reynolds. Sterilex. All purpose. Is there any random shit in here I should know about? My camera. You can actually get these photos printed up, I've learned, by the way. All the photos that you take, it saves them. 
and you can have them printed and sent to you. I'm totally gonna do that. I don't give a fuck what the cost is. All right, I guess we should do some work. Seriously though, I hope some of these photos come out great because I'm printing them. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. As I dry my socks. I dry three socks. Why the fuck only? Of course. Where's my, am I missing one? Where? Is that comfy. my comfy chair? It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, it's totally a dude from Mad Men. D9. Getting along. A little sandwich. Yeah, what's up, bitch? What you want? Oops. Oh, nope. No. I guess I should reply. I might this never leave. A, this is actually really well, pretty. Uh, I called with some bad news. What the fuck? Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Uh oh. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed Scrubs. to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then. Probably the last person to have seen him. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm Holy shit. Questions. Is this now Look, becoming a not murder not mystery? Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then Where's that dude at? Maybe. Where's that creepy motherfucker? Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Why doesn't she want to talk to the cops? All right, Henry, thanks. She got something to hide. I was enjoying the sunset until you... Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, crap. Just jump in the days. <laughs> Henry. Henry, wake up. What? Fuck, bitch. I'm trying to sleep. Man, what the fuck? Delilah. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. <sighs> fuck. Where's your fucking thing? Where are you? You. You. Fuck. You. I'm trying to sleep, bitch. What do you what want? Do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Are you flirting right now? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. What? I am. Are you having a nice time? What? What? Am I talking to my wife? It's beautiful. You know. It's my wife. She patched my wife through? <gasps> That's great, Henry. Really great. Aww, my wife. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Aww, that's nice. I got to speak to my Alzheimer's wife. A <laughs> terrible way to bring her up or mention her, my Alzheimer's wife. <laughs> Got to speak to my wife who unfortunately is suffering from Alzheimer's and dementia. <laughs> is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, Bit how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Yeah, what the fuck? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. All right. She loads of good stuff, though. I'll beans. just take mine. Jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Yeah. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. Then she, she must have some regular shits. Marijuana to function. <laughs> so she's a pothead. And a prune head. <laughs> so, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. Oh, I, crap. I didn't... I was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and... Did I have a... I'd just be spoiling it. I dreamt it? I hope you're doing okay. Shit. You know, when it comes to her. I dreamt it? shouldn't be out here. Yes, you 
should. No, I just ran away from my problems. That's no, sad. I dreamt it. That sucks. Don't fall. This guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost Surprise. five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to... Out of town, oh, here we go. In the mountains, cut I almost stole from here before. Then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. That's mine, right? For some reason. Yeah. I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. What? I out here. I lied. Fuck you, Javier. Told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Yeah, what a bitch. I've just about it for over 10 years <clears throat> and uh for some reason i so pretty you to know. why are you why are you sharing that detail with me you've told me so much about you okay so that's true you know, there's i did kind of overshare we both fucked up oh, fuck shit is getting deep what the shit? All right, I got everything I need out of here. <laughs> just end this conversation. Just yours, right? Yes, Who just mine. Who do you think you are? I'm Mr. Big Stuff. <clears throat> oh shit! Oh shit! What? You haven't already? You haven't already. I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. What do you mean we're gonna be... That's gonna be... She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or... You name fires? Is that a thing? Do they name fires? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> <laughs> no, you big dummy. Oh, someone's flirting. Somebody's flirting. Yeah, because okay, you what, probably means. started it. How about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. Maybe the fire started in June. So it's just slowly middle. smoldered yeah. until now. You know what my favorite thing to do is? What's, what's your favorite thing? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. That's... Nice cool like booze. It is so disgustingly hot. I have something nice and cool to drink. That's a good idea, actually. My sister in Santa Fe. That is she a good idea. A bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. I, I could go like for one there. of those. I'm not gonna go this far. That's a bit much. But I, I've know. had one too many bad experiences. <laughs> tequila actually does make me a little, a little bit. Little, Maybe you little angry, perhaps. Good experience with it. Oh, see that uh, bitch yeah, is throwing maybe. down, throwing maybe down the flirts. Oh, yeah, sh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how they look at night. She, the she might have been creeping on me. When the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. It is pretty. I'm it glad is you're pretty. here. Me too. That's because they ain't totally cool way. like me. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. Yeah, probably I quite some time. Heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. Damn, we are getting a little lovey dovey. Oh, oh! All right, Delilah, you open the door. Let's see where this room leads. What? What can we do? Come on. Well, Bring let it. Let me tell you. 
Yes, tell me. Oh, shh! God damn it, game! <laughs> it's such a tease. What the fuck? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. Fuck you, bitch. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Did you say bear? Search around the lake for fresh tracks and Did you just say bear? Let me know what you find. Did you say bear? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Did you... <laughs> problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Yeah, I'm out. Come on, please. Where's the bear? Don't give me the baby voice. Bitch, I'm trying to... Pile of bear shit. I'm just trying to fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? A bear. I don't have a gun. I got nothing. I got whack it with the fishing pole. Whack, 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 whack. It's a nice fishing pole. It's actually not that nice, but whatever. <laughs> I think we're going to call it there. Next time around, we're going to go track down these bear tracks, see what's going on, see what the dealio is. Also, Delilah just got a little raunchy with me, and the game cut it the fuck off. What the fuck? Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. We'll see you next time.